Howdy, BeFlyBart here, and welcome. This is kind of a continuation from where I was at, uh, messing around with the dev kit for Conan Exiles. And, yeah. So far, the uh, the first weapon that I created, well, the first mod that I created was a recipe mod. That works great, 100%. Um, the second one that I, I started screwing around with is a kind of an OP weapons mod. And that's working pretty well too. The sword was good. I kind of tweaked it up a little bit more in this version that I'm working on. Uh, this time I want to try messing with a bow. And if I have good success with that, then I will actually try incorporating a crossbow. I'm not sure if the animations and all are there, but I know that the weapons are there and the projectiles are there. So what I'm doing right now is I'm making a copy of the Bessie's bow just like the way that one looks, and calling it the beefalo bow. Yeah. Whatever. Visual object, BP bow two hand. So I'm just kind of copying down some of the information that I see here. The uh, visual object is bow two hand. And occasionally whenever you're putting these in, especially um, the item class, it will actually take sometimes two minutes for it to actually resolve what it's doing, two or three minutes. So just kind of bear with it if you're doing that and following along. We'll probably see that again whenever I do the arrows to go with this bow. So max stack size and equip location. So we'll do one and eight. One and eight. GUI category is weapon, that's fine. We have no visual static mesh, but we do have the Legendary Bow 2 for the visual skeletal mesh. So that's going to be kind of an important thing here. Bow, I see this, let's type in Legendary. And hell, I said it was 2, it should be. Let's make sure. Um, SK Legendary Bow 02. Alright, cool. Um, anything else here? Nothing. No armor type. I'm looking at the original in the items table. The original items table. I'm not actually editing the original items table because I would like for this to be able to be used by other people, perhaps, and maybe even in multiplayer. So, you know, you don't want to get a little too crazy. So let's skip down to the weapons category. First thing I'm going to do now is actually save because yeah, I'm religion 4, things happen. So, weapons type, let's confirm, bow two handed range. So, we look for a bow, and see crossbow was in there. Two handed ranged. Well, imagine one handed range would be like the throwing weapons. Alright, knockback response. Our, our sound transmitter type, 17. We want to keep that. Not 18, but 17, Dorcas. Knockback response, uh, that was a no. These were zeroed out. Stamina cost, okay. Standard is 5, pretty much across the board for most weapons. I've actually been taking it down to 1. So, stamina cost, one and one. These two are zeroed, that's zeroed. So it's the last four here, weapon speed, heavy charged modifier. So one, and then 3.5. One and 3.5, the other ones are one. All right. Attack data. It's so easy to, to do this because you're you're essentially copying data over from an existing weapon to get the basics there, and then you can start tweaking it. So cone angle and cone max distance seems to be normal. So 35 and 250 is is a norm. 35 and 250. That's your cone of attack. The damage, health, uh, light, and heavy. Alright, so 18 damage is what this bow normally does. Mm, that's not enough damage for me. 
So we're making this OP. Yeah, so let's screw it. Let's make it do 100 health and 100 health. Why not, right? We're going to make it OP. We might as well make it OP. Next thing down under mixed flags under weapon usage. Hmm. I don't see. I don't see under weapon usage. I don't see that item is held or is held item. Um, I don't know. I don't know because this one says mixed flags. And I want to see is held item checked. Hmm. We might have to look at that. If it doesn't work, we might have to come back to that. Because I don't know how to, to adjust that. Um, item tier is 5. That's just leg legendary. Um, item tier... Screw it. Let's copy that at 5. Armor pin was 18. No, shit. Um, 0 0.945. So we'll just do on armor pin 0 0.1. Was there any concussive damage? No. And damage tier is steel. Alright, so that's actually most of what we've got here. Um, we'll just look to see. Knockback, okay, is 10 and 10. Um, those are clear. Hey, how are we doing? So, durability. Um, the perish rate, perish 2 not worried about those that would be like food whenever it spoils it becomes another item so you could actually put an, an item ID in here so if it was a perishable item it would turn into something else yeah. uh, max durability of 1500 mm, no let's make it 2500 repair item 1 we're not really going to be able to repair it uh, I haven't seen to where I can yet but I'm still going to put in 10001, which is stone, and it's going to cost us five stone to repair it. I, you know, the sword, I have not found where I can repair that yet. So um, we're not worried about all this stuff here because that's more repair items, and we don't have that, so we're not going to worry about it. Um, the next thing we need to do, repair XP. We're not going to be able to repair it anyway, but whatever. If we can repair it, let's give ourselves 2,500 XP. Um, now, see, this is where I'm not getting all of these modifiers to work correctly yet. I don't know if I'm missing it somewhere else. So you got Legendary Weapon, that's empty, and Bonus Grit. Um, we could do the same thing here, and there's no nothing on drop down. So if we were to um, legendary weapon, and they had everything capitalized, and I want bleed and cripple. Now, bonus grit, okay, that's cool, but, um, yeah, let's try that out and see how that works. No die colors, everything else should be fine, so that should be good to go. That should be everything. Um, I'm going to go through from the bottom, going back up again, just to make sure, we you know, it's not an avatar type, it's none. 
Um, it doesn't affect our food and drink, which would be weird. You know, again, we're making OP stuff just for being goofy. Um, but, yeah, what if you shot your bow and it gave you thirst or, or gave you a drink of water or gave you a sandwich or whatever? Um, yeah, we're not going to mess with that. Repairs, repairs. Um, yeah, that's okay. Knockback. We're not actually making it a recipe to actually craft yet. We may try it later, but for now, not really worried about it. You know, we can just go into um, admin mode and give ourselves that weapon just to test things out. All right, so everything looks good as far as I can tell. Um, and we're calling it the beefalo bow. Um, yeah, that's good. So we're going to go ahead and hit save. And since we've gone here and copied Bessie's bow, let's um, razor. Razor arrows. So let's actually create a new item. Um, and we're going to copy it off of this, the um, the arrows, the razor arrows. Seems to be a pretty good arrow overall. It's what I've been using and test out with in-game. So what we need to do is actually, since we have saved, let's save it one more time. Uh, there, Our first item, we gave our, a number, and they gave another one in sequence. So we're going to create a whole new item. So we're going to hit the plus key, and then... It says new row, and then right here where it says row name, we're going to put our prefix modifier in, and then 03 because this is our third item. So there, and it's there's nothing in it. So the name we're going to call this is just whatever we want to call it. I'm going to call it the um, Beeflow Arrows. Sounds good enough for me. Bad ass hack arrows for farming fun, whatever. Doesn't matter. And then long description. This is where your long ass description would go if you have one. I don't care. We're just gonna put something in there. So icon. Go over here. We'll type in icon underscore arrow uh, let's make it look like whatever well mm, screw it we'll make it look like the ivory arrows item class so now we can look over here and see we got all this life you know the, this stuff here the icon BP item bow projectile base. Now this is where it's going to hang up a little bit, so just bear with it. Arrow. Nope. Um. Shit. Bow projectile base. Damn. Okay. Bow projectile base. And, okay, and there was no, no pause there. Okay, made a liar out of me, you bastard. Um, okay, so the visual static, static mesh, max stack size. Um, so let's go with the max stack size as the next thing down. The visual object. Um, okay, maybe this is the one that actually hangs up. So visual object is going to be bow projectile base BP item is that the same one BP no it's visual item bow um, projectile and I should have known that projectile base see the crossbow base is right there so it makes me wonder how hard it would be to to add the crossbow in because I have not seen it in game yet. And I thought I'd learned all the the main recipes. Max stack size 100. Equip location is zero. 
GUI category is consumable. It is so easy to just copy the, the, the way the other items are done. And if you don't know where these items lists are, um, show that in the other video I did making these. But I can showcase that really quickly. Let me um, get these two done. The visual static mesh is razor arrow. Visual static mesh. Razor arrow. See, crossbow has a, a razor arrow as well. And then the um, razor arrow is the destructible mesh, which I haven't had to deal with much of those yet, but razor arrow destructible mesh. All right, so to, to save this one more time here, to find this, if you scroll down to where you find uh, in your content folder, items, this is your item table, and this is where you're getting the original data from, and then whenever you scroll down, you want to make your own table for your items, recipes, any tables you're going to make modifications to, you need to make your own custom tables for. And I covered that in the other video. Alright, can be looted. This is an interesting thing here, is um, whenever you're, sh you're getting shot with the arrows, you can actually supposedly grab the arrows off of your body. So, I've not been able to do that yet. Uh, sound physical surface 8. And again, we're back to copying this data until we actually get to the damage stuff. We might be making this a little bit too OP, but whatever. Weapon archetype is ammunition. And it had weapon type as none. Yep. And sound transmitter type is 24. So stuff like that, if you don't know what it is and you're copying it over, just copy. All else fails, do what they did. The only thing they have here, encumbrance weight is 0.1, and we'll do that, 0 0.1. Now, cone angle, I'm not sure how this is going to be for, yeah, it shouldn't be anything for that, and this is where the damage is. Your damage is 10 on light and heavy, well that's just not good enough. Let's go with, again, make it OP as hell. Um, these arrows do 100 damage, plus the bow is affecting by 100 damage. So, yeah, this is probably going to be OP. We're not sure if the bow is going to work itself because of the weapon usage flags. I don't know. So, this item tier is 3. Item tier, yeah, screw it, we'll keep it as three. Armor pin, point one. Is there anything else for damage type here? Damage type says stone damage type. Uh, no, damn that, we're gonna do steel damage type. Just to try it. No cooldowns, knockbacks are 10. May come back in and change that as well, just for the heck of it. There should not be any... Okay, max durability is negative one. Max durability is negative one. There should not be any repair. Why is there repair items? 11502, we're not going to have any repair items. Repair XP, um, yeah, it's, it's called for three of those and two of those, yeah. that's. I think that's going to be feathers and sticks. And we're not worried about that. We're not going to craft these. We're just going to give them to our, ourselves. Okay, modifiers. High-grade projectile.
M P R O G E. And again, we're going to try putting in bleed and cripple. Just to see. We, we, I want that effect to work. So that should be good to go. File and save. Um, that's the two biggest things that I wanted to add in this time was a bow and arrows. So I'm going to close the items table and my custom table. I'm going to hit save 97 times. Don't care. So I'm going to click on Conan Exiles dev kit. And one thing I want to do is I've already got the um, the folder open that it actually saves to. I'm going to close it. So if you don't know where it saved your files to, and it sucks because you know it's a difficult location to find, especially if you don't know where it is. So the built mod folder. I'm going to click on that. It's going to open it up. I've already got this mod there. So I want to go ahead and delete that because that was made um, on the first. So we're going to delete it. That is no longer the current mod. So it is gone and we are going to leave this Steam Visibility as hidden. If you guys like this mod and if it works, then let me know and I will put it on Steam. I am not changing the knots. It's notes. Buttocks monkey. Let's get that out of here. The BBG sword works fine. Testing beefalo bow and beefalo arrows. Like anybody's going to read this crap anyway. So we're going to go ahead and hit build mod. And OK. Depending on how much stuff you've got in the mod, it could take longer. But technically, the only thing that I've got in here is just text. There's no models. There's no sound files. There's no. I'm not adding any custom content. I'm just adding one, actually two modified files essentially, um, and uh, image. Actually, a total of five files, um, and that's going to be the two tables the two blueprints that really don't have much in them um, and problem is gonna be we didn't check one other thing here no it shouldn't be a problem it should not be a problem because what I've told it to do on the other mod was I was replacing something I'm not replacing anything on this one um, the mod manager essentially is saying um, we're just merging this table with the original table so it adds the the new items that's all we're doing with it so I don't have to change that let's get ready to cancel the damn thing and go back uh, it's a nice drink of choice Fenta orange yes I consume a lot of freaking orange drinks all right so hopefully this won't take much longer like I said it could take you know, if you've got a lot of stuff in there, it could take you two hours, you know. But with a small mod like this, there's not a whole lot in there. It's not really going to take all that long. If I click on show output log, not cancel, but show output log, it's going to show everything in here. And for some reason, it's writing to Android and An <laughs> Linux and Y because the options aren't set up correctly in the editor to have it to where it's only writing to Windows. As far as I know, there's no Android version of Conan Exiles. I could be wrong, but yeah, there should be no reason for it to write to an Android uh, platform. Windows, yes. If there's a Linux version, then yeah. Unable to read previous Cook INI settings. Who cares? Shut up. Um, let's see here. And this everything to the Windows no editor. Uh, 
Ah, okay. Unreal Network File Server starting up. This is where um, the Unreal Engine and Epic Games, this is how they kind of find out if you're do what you're, not really what you're doing, but what they do is they insert something into your, your programming that allows them to actually know your platform, what you're doing, say, it, okay, this is just a mod, whatever, so there you go. You're not going to be making money off of a Conan mod. What If you're actually creating stuff in Unreal Engine and you're putting it out there for sale, part of the deal is to be able to get the awesome software and, and stuff for Unreal Engine 4 for free, to be able to build your own kick-ass games, the way that it works is it's free to download, it's free to use, and it's free to, to make a game and put it online and sell the game. However, once you reach a certain income level from that game, then at that point, you reach that level, you then have to start paying them a percentage of the sales. But that number is like $100,000, if I remember correctly. Um, if you've already made a hundred grand, I don't think it's that big of a deal. If you're selling a game for twenty bucks a copy, if you've got to pay uh, Epic Games fifty bucks or, or five bucks out of or three bucks or whatever, five percent of twenty bucks, whatever the hell that is. So if you've got to pay them five percent royalty for doing all that stuff. Mod built successfully. The mod is ready for usages. All right, so uh, that is successful. Now the, the thing is also, and I mentioned this before, if you have this dev kit open in the editor, guess what? You're running Conan Exiles. It is running. So you can't just play the game. You actually have to close the editor and give it a few moments and it will actually go out of running status then you can go ahead and copy in your file and go from there so as soon as we see that no longer running yes I had to uninstall quite a few games to make enough room for 150 gig download to be able to use this so the next thing we gotta do here is now this is the new version and I got that folder open from the location that was in the editor. And this is the location of program files, Steam, Steam apps, Common, Conan Exiles, Conan Sandbox, Mods folder. And all you have to do is, and I'm going to take the, the one that I had in here before, and I'm going to delete it. Okay. That's scary. I just deleted my mod. And now I'm going to take this one, I'm going to right click, drag it in here and copy here and now I've copied in a new version of it and at this point we can go ahead and test it so actually I'm just gonna go ahead and minimize these I have a buttload of frickin windows open so I'm just gonna minimize all this stuff now I'm gonna go ahead and close the epic launcher because I don't need it open and you know what? Let's go ahead and test the game. Um, you have to give me a moment as I'm transitioning in. Play without battle eye. Kiss my battle eye. I mean, uh, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and go into the game. And once I actually get to the main menu, I will switch the um, thing over. Still been lazy. I still haven't changed over my, um, my hotkeys. So, you know, I could actually quit being cheap and actually get a um, one of those fancy things that you you call the um, uh, it's like a, a extra keyboard you can add in all right so I'm going to go black here in just a moment and then I'll, I'll change scenes once I actually get into the game I won't be able to tab out come on there we go fade to black and now we should be hello come on there we go mods we see that we have the bbg test mod which is the one that i'm working on now it is there 
And you can see the updated information. Sword works fine. Testing Beefalo Bow and Beefalo Arrows. That's good. So we know that it's there, and the updated version of the mod is in place. So I'm actually going to play offline. Um, I'm just going to continue a game that I've already had going. I've already got the sword in my inventory, but I will delete it. I will get rid of it and get a new version of it. Not a big deal, because it's I've used that other one so much today that I've already worn the damn thing out with over 2,000 frickin' um, uh, volume down. Dumb dumb. Yeah, with the... Um, blue shit, I can't, I'm totally just brain farting on the damn... What the hell is it called? Not the stamina, but the um, the durability of a sword. It was set at 2,000, and it's almost completely worn out. You gotta be killing a lot of shit to be able to wear out a sword with that much frickin' durability. Come on, load up. God, a single load's like an Unreal Engine 4 game. You know, that, um... Donation bar is looking awful damn empty. I think we're in negative days now and no donations last month. Cheap bastards. Show you guys how to do all this cool shit and you can't even send me five bucks. <sighs> I'm a fat kid. Five bucks would get me a hamburger. Get me a couple tacos. Get me more orange sodas. Be a down payment towards the next um, box of K-Cups from a coffee maker. Yes, I use K-Cups. Yes, they're bad for the environment. No, I really don't give a shit. Um, I do care about the environment, but... Um, holy shit, damn K-Cups make coffee uh, a nice thing. Wow. Okay, finally loaded in. Alrighty. So, this is my new setup. I've got um, a few things already set up here. I've got... Get out of there. Hey! This was just a dancer one that I picked up just for shits and grins. That was a named dancer. Yes, it's a guy. Yeah, whatever. But, um... That was the first named or level four dancer I'd seen anywhere, so I went ahead and just said to hell with it and got him. Um, now, I will admit, I did screw up earlier, and while I was out screwing around with the weapons and stuff, I killed a legendary named um, blacksmith. Nothing in here. Sorry, I gotta check. Even though this is an offline server, I can't remember which of my. Um, wheels have what in them. Alright, so this one's clear too. Yeah, I just selected the first difficulty level. Wasn't really paying attention to, to that. Didn't care. It's just all about testing. So, it seems to be that named guys are all over the damn place. Um, yeah, I got a named uh, carpenter. Named dancer. I got frickin... So three. I need to find a name to cook. I need another cook for my uh, fire here. So the buffalo. I got Bessie's bow here. Let's dump that over here, and I got some razor arrows. This is the original BBG sword of doom. I'm gonna dump it on the ground and get rid of it. All right, so that's gone. Quick base door. So yeah, this is the upper level here. I'll show you the outside in just a minute and the location. And this is totally unfinished in here. Just bed and some storage. Um, fireplace. And just go up to the upper level. Nothing spectacular yet. This is just an offline server. I'm just kind of screwing around with it. And we'll head outside. Quick look outside. Look around here. Um, my character's name is Queen Nadine. So... That kind of looked like a, a crown shape there. So, yeah, whatever. Dorky. Ah, no shit. Shut up. More wheels of pain here. Just a lot of testing stuff going on. 
but the location that I'm using is right here next to um, Azagarth. All right, so again, go to settings, server settings, make me admin, hit escape, go to admin panel. One of the things that I always do is I, whenever I'm testing stuff out, uncheck eating, so I don't have to worry about hunger and thirst going down. God mode and no sprint cost. Cool. So now we can go to others and let's go for BBG for the Sword of Doom. Now that we got that, I'm going to look for. There we go, the Beefalo Bow is there. And we got that in our inventory. And I'm going to give myself 200 of the Beefalo arrows. So let's actually hit the correct key. She has caps on her nips. I didn't make that armor. Alright, so beefalo arrows. That's cool. We're going to put those here and here. And we're going to go ahead and start off with razor arrows. I'm actually going to dump that stack of 100. And I'm going to start with the razor arrow. Before I put any arrows on at all, let's look at this. It says... Health damage, 100. Armor penetration, 10%. Okay. That was 0.1. So if we change that 0.1 to a 0.5, then it'll be a 50% armor penetration. That's nice to know. Legendary bleed. It's a weapon, and it does cripple. 2,500 durability. That worked. Weight, 3.5. Yeah. So we're going to try it with razor arrows. That shows high-grade projectile. 8% armor penetration and health damage 10. My arrows, health damage 100, 10% <laughs> armor penetration. So, And it also says bleed and cripple. But we're going to start off with these three, which are the razor arrows. You have to put your arrows directly onto your... Wait a minute. Um... Oh, no bueno. Okay, so it's not loading the arrows onto the bow. So that could be part of that flag issue that I had. Um, no ammo. So yeah, that's going to be that one arrow error, error we had earlier. So I can't manually reload my bow. So I'm going to have to do some editing on that. But since we have Bessie's bow, it's showing 18 health damage and 9% armor penetration. Um, bonus grit, weapon, legendary. So since we have the arrows, we might as well go ahead and check to see if the arrows work. So I'm going to grab a stack of arrows, drop it onto it. So now it's, it shows that I loaded arrows, the beeflow arrows, into the... No, it didn't. You son of a bitch. Um, Bessie's bow. It shows an arrow loaded, but I think it's still the original one, because I have three arrows. Alright, no ammo. So, let's see. <sighs> Unequip your bow, idiot thing. So let's try putting those arrows on, and I don't know, it, it shows the arrow icon there like it is loaded. But is it? No, it is not. Alright, so that does not work. So we'll have to work on that. So, Bessie's bow, uh, okay, the beeflow bow needs some work, and the arrows need some work. Don't know what's going on with that. Gonna have to figure that out. But, let's take a look at the sword now. It's showing 200 health damage, arm penetration 10, bleed and cripple, 2000 durability, that's lovely. Um, no mods on it whatsoever. Let's head over here. 
and I use the star metal sword, one end sword for um, the visual on it. But let's go wax up with a stick. Now my current build is maxed out strength. Was starting to go up a little bit on vitality, but I brought the encumbrance up just so I can carry more stuff. So, ooh, ugly. Yeah, this is definitely OP. One shot slices him. All right, so yeah, the sword's working just fine. Really freaking OP. What's that? Ale, hey. Let's get drunk. What you whistling at, boy? All right, yeah, I'm definitely drunk in here. Hey, it's actually a female. Alright, are you a named? Nope, you're a one. Put some clothes on, girl. Yeah, so this is this is definitely if you're <laughs> you want to get something really OP, this is definitely OP. And I are drunk. So yeah, the sword's working just fine. What do you want? Carpenter one, go away. Blacksmith one, go away. Fighter one, go away. Alright, so... Oh. Increased vitality and headache. Lovely. I've never drank three L back, back to back like that. Yeah, one shot just cuts these guys down like it's nothing. Let's give it a really good test real quickly, and because um, you know these guys, you can with a decent sword, like oh, I don't know, this guy got that from killing a boss, really big ass um, alligator. So we need to find out what's going on with the bow and what's going on with the arrows. I have missed something somewhere. No, these guys weren't the real test. Um, here we go. Big fuzzy things. One shot. Yeah, it took a third of his health away. And he's dead. Only a couple, a couple hits to kill on an elephant. So we need to find out what's going on with the bow and what's going on with the arrows. Dead elephants, or whatever the hell they are. Mammoths. Alright, so we park my cute little behind inside and let's go back and uh, take a look at the editor and see what we might have missed. If anybody knows right off the top of their head what the command is to get the. Alright. Exit to main menu. We have to do this so we, the screen doesn't go black for a few moments while we reload every damn thing all over again. So when we get back to the main menu, I should be able to then switch over without locking up the entire system. If I try to tab out while I'm actually go back to the scene, go to exit. Um, if I try to tab out of the game while the game's open, then it will absolutely just crash the whole game and take several minutes to even get um, task manager to come up to, to kill it. Now I meant to empty recycling bin. You go away. So now we got to wait a few moments for um, Epic Game Launcher to come in. Then once it comes up we can go to the launch button for Gonad Exiles. Gonad the Barbiturate. And now wait for a couple minutes for this damn thing to load up. 
It loads up fine, and all of a sudden it gets to a certain point, and, and then just kind of looks like it's freezing. But, that's just normal. Um, 415 with the dev kit, it just is a weird combination. I'm not saying that I want them to go ahead and upgrade to 4.2, because the, the game has been out for over a year. So, yeah, whatever. So as soon as it comes up, we'll take a look see where the, the fault might have been. But while we're waiting for that to come up, we can actually go into... Um, this is the original pack file. And this is the actual packed version. I can delete this now. And it's not going to be a problem. But once uh, the editor actually comes up, which it's coming up now, then quickly rediscover all the asshole uh, assets um, take a look at the items and the beefalo bow what could we have missed so it's actually also open up in the items folder for the, in the root of the dev kit is the original items table and we used Bessie's bow as an example so all I have to do is in the top search block type in Bessie and there's Bessie's bow right there so now we can start going through, skip the description stuff, the name stuff. Um, what did I do wrong? Leg Icon Legendary Bow 02. Yeah, that's fine. Item Bow Launcher Herkadurka. Yep, that's fine. Building class is none. Building class is none. Visual object BP bow two hand. BP bow two hand. Action blueprint to use none. Stack size one. Equip location eight. GUI category is weapon. Yeah, that's all the same. We've got and everything shows up visually. That's that's not a problem. Item flags no. Item flags can be looted. Item flag can be looted. That's one thing that I missed right there. So let's go ahead and save. Anytime you find a mistake and correct it, go ahead and save. Item container size zero. Z uh, yeah, is negative one. So let's put that to zero. That might have been our issue. Um, item container size is zero. You're going to see me save a lot. That's never a bad thing. So this and this I'd had wrong. Item flags can be looted and item container size zero. I had both of those wrong. So let's kind of keep going down and seeing if there's anything else that I missed. Armor is fine. It's a bow, two-handed ranged. Bow, two-handed range. 17 on sound. 17 on sound, zero, zero. Oh, compatible ammunitions. There we go. That is something I did not see. Ha. So, our ammunition that we created, hence our arrows, could not be loaded and I could not load anything into my bow because there was no compatible ammunition. Wow, this is going to suck. There's a lot of arrows. Keep this simple. Um, I'm just going to add one or two. Actually, a couple. The first one I'm going to add naturally is going to be my arrows, which is this number here. So under this right here we want to scroll down to where it says um, where in the hell is that? Um, under weapons compatible ammunitions compatible ammunitions right here add one and this is where we will put for item zero, we need to put in our our custom arrows that we made. Eight, six, seven, five, three, zero, nine, zero, three is the arrows for that I've created. 
So let's add in, you can see under the compatible ammunition type, there's 29 different types of arrows. 29. Well, we can see here 11, 12, 13, 14. Those are in, in a row. These numbers are not... Yeah, this is something I'll come back in and fix on my own later. Um, but what I'll do is, we know we're testing it with my arrows, and we need to test... Um, my arrows won't work in any other bow, because I'm not going to go through and get every freaking bow out there just to tell it that it can use my arrows. So I'm not worried about that. So for now, all we care about is testing it with this, with my custom arrows, and we want to test it with a really low powered arrow. So let's actually come in here and try to find what stone arrow. What is the cheapest arrow you can get? It's well blunted arrows are cool because they're actually gonna give you a stun damage, but that's not what we're looking for. Bone arrows. You would think it would be the lowest possible number for like a stone arrow or we'll try there's no stone arrows. How about the screw it razor arrows. Since that's what we use to, to modify our, our information to get those. So that's going to be 56 or 53 613. So one more time 53 613 53, 6, 13. Yes. 53, 6, 13. I just want to make sure that number is correct. I don't want it launching freaking swords going through the air. Which that would be cool, but that it wouldn't do that anyway. But So that should be my issue. I didn't tell it what kind of ammo it can use. So now the beefalo bow can use razor arrows and the beeflow error arrows. I can't talk. So let's save that. Close our tables. And let's go ahead and build it one more time. And that's good. That's good. And build mod. So again, we'll just wait a couple minutes. I don't know how to play it in the editor and then be able to um, actually get those items, to spawn those items. I can't get the um, the admin panel to come up while I'm in the frickin' editor, because I normally hit the escape key and bring up the menu and do it that way. Ah, sorry about that. So, while this is doing its thing, We've already deleted the old version from the actual location. Um, yeah, so it's not there yet. As soon as it shows up there, then we know that it's it's good to go. So I want to keep that minimized. Let it do its thing. We can show output log just so we have something on the screen there. Um, setting up weapons and can and doing modified versions of existing weapons is an easy way to just get in there and get your feet wet. Um, primarily all this particular mod is doing is we're adding a new weapon or in this case two new weapons and a new arrow type. So we're, we're adding three new items. So we have our own custom numbers form and we're just merging those numbers with the existing item table in game and it just works. Um, Technically, if you were to overwrite, as I say, if you took the original, the lowest level bow you can get, and the cheapest arrows you can make, 
or the cheapest sword you could build or or whatever um, if you were just going to replace the existing one then technically you can do it without doing it the way that I did in my other video of doing um, the way I've told it to work is I load the original table I remove that line I tell it in the blueprint to physically remove the one particular line the item line in that particular case I was replacing the map room so what I did was I in the original recipe and item table I told it to remove item line 90000 90,000 that's the item ID of the map room so it removes it from the game and then I tell it to merge my new item and new recipe uh, data tables to load those two which now have the new version of the same item ID number of 90,000 so in essence it's taking the originals out and it's putting the new ones in technically speaking if you were to just put it in your custom item table it would automatically overwrite but I'm not going to take that chance there's always a possibility that it could have some compatibility issues or whatever else so one way or the other it deletes the old version and puts my version in place of it and I know that it works I've tested it, it works great that's a mod for a different server but this particular one right here is just purely for fun the beefalo um, the BBG sword which I'll probably end up changing the name to beefalo sword and I got the beefalo bow and the beefalo arrows these are you can call them whatever the hell you want if you want to do the same kind of basic modifications and go from there but with this we're gonna try this bow with the razor arrows because we told it, it can use those as ammo and we told it it can also use the big fellow arrows for ammo so that should now work now since I'm already telling it to use this mod in Conan Exiles I don't actually have to go into the mod thing and you know it, it's automatically gonna find it I don't have to redo all of that crap in other words come on and build it's five files get your ass in gear oh okay just about done removing the extra shaders and mod built successfully it's always a good thing so let's close all this down and let's go ahead and open up those two folders again so now we've got this is the actual steam files and this is the new file I don't have to delete the old one I can right click drag drop copy here and copy and replace it'll do the same damn thing um, it was created at 2:10 a.m. that's lovely so we know we're on the same version we're gonna empty our recycling bin one more again and let's go back in the game and we're gonna test it out let's make sure I'm not gonna close the umbrella or epic games launcher just gonna minimize that I'm gonna go ahead and load gonad exiles without brown eye I mean battle eye all right so now all we got to do is just go back into the game we don't have to worry about um, changing mods loading mods or whatever else because we were already using the same mod in the game so it'll work and of course PG rating there might be nipples I don't think there's going to be any penises, but just be warned. Yes, yes. I have an NVIDIA video card. Thank you. All right. There we go. Single player continue. And now once it goes in, we should be good to go. Oh, I said there might be penises and people leave. I see how it is. It's okay if there's nipples, but, you know, as soon as you uh, mentioned there might be penises visible, there won't be. I haven't seen any in the last hour. In-game, that is. Except for mine when I went to the bathroom, but... 
that was right before. And actually, we've been doing this for. Never mind. I'm just gonna leave that the hell alone. Any damn way. So as soon as this comes up, we'll go ahead and and test out the beefalo bow with razor arrows, and then we'll test it with the beefalo arrows. In theory, we already have beefalo bow and beefalo arrows in our inventory. It should just work. Should. We'll, we'll find out for sure. And if it doesn't, then well, I'll just throw them on the floor and I'll get new setup, and then we'll try that. And if it still doesn't work, then, well, screw it. So, going in now. Come on, load up, damn it. Krom does not answer prayers, and his religion comes with no benefit. Then what's the point? <laughs> It's like sex with no physical contact. Really? So you got a really damn good imagination. Okay. I don't know why this game takes so much longer than any other game that I've got to actually load. Alright, let's see what we got. Go to our inventory, and we have Basie's bow and Beefalo bow. It's still there, so let's go ahead and again settings, server settings, make me admin, close admin panel. Again, I don't care about anything else. We're just testing shit out, so we don't worry. Don't want to worry about health and hunger and thirst and all that stuff. Other, and we want re learn how to spell, dumbass. Uh, it's gear. There we go. Razor arrows. Let's get five razor arrows. It's good enough for me. And then get out of my inventory. Let's get the beef lobo. Put it in number two slot. This is the same one we had before. Now let's see if we can load razor arrows. Okay, I heard the sound and it looks to me like it's loaded. So let's go see if it shoots. Open the door. There we go. It shoots arrows. So that's a good thing. So let's actually see. We got the beefalo bow with razor arrows, and there's only five of them. Let's see if it shows anything on stats. Ranged. Total range damage is 110. All right. Let's go shoot somebody with them. See what happens. Yes, all this right here, all these pieces right here, that's actually, I'm making a road in this this offline world and I'm gonna keep putting other things on besides the five wheels of pain that I've already got I'll put other like whatever's other buildings hell I might make a hotel just killing time with this so first target three three shots and he died with razor arrows. Okay, no ammo. So let's actually try it now. Let's see what happens when we put beefalo arrows in. Oh. I don't see the loaded icon there. Um. Oh, well, hell, it shot. So, um, let's see. Yeah, one arrow almost completely killed that guy. Let's see, there's an archer standing right over here. Oh, one shot kill. <laughs> yeah, these arrows are a little bit on the OP side. Yep, they work. <laughs> so, yeah, that that's how you make OP bow and uh, an OP arrow system. If you wanted your bow that you made custom to use all the frickin' arrows in, and not just some custom arrow, then you've got 29 friggin' entries you gotta do. So it's 29 different arrow types. We gotta test it out on a mammoth. That was three arrows, and I missed most of them, so... What the hell are you shooting at? Good lord, you're launching them into orbit! And he's, he's running. 
Well, hell, I was trying to lead him, and he stopped. Yeah. No, these these aren't OP. <laughs> no. There's one. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And nine. Probably ten arrows total. To kill a mammoth. So, yeah... They, they could be a little bit more powerful. You know, I, I think I need to add some more juice to them. What do you guys think? Wake up. Wake up. Big fat bastard. Alright, so, yeah, they work. The bow works now. The arrows work now. Um, no other bow in the game will be able to use those arrows... Because, like I said, I am not going to go in and actually add that to every single solitary bow in the game. But if you did, then, and you took the time to actually do it, then every bow in the game would be able to use those custom arrows and would be OP as hell just because of the arrows. Because the arrows themselves add 100 damage with 10% armor penetration. They're supposed to add bleeding cripple, but they're not. Um, the bow itself is legendary. It's supposed to add um, bleed and cripple, but it does not. So that's something else I'm going to have to figure out as I go. And I'm learning a little bit each time I go into the editor and actually create stuff. And I think the next thing to do is to actually see what's what on the the crossbow. Might be something to look into for, for adding to the game. Um, I haven't seen the recipe for them anywhere. If we go over here to blacksmith, and you can see I've got the um, exceptional stuff. I don't see any bows here. So, where the hell are bows made? Um, definitely not in a tannery. Definitely not an artisan table. Not in the armor bench. You know, this is all armor stuff. What is that? Oh, that's the the royal um, the royal um, set. Not a. Oh yeah, that that's the the royals for um, killing the um, the witch king or witch queen. Here we go. Um, bows like flawless hardened. And that would be the other thing, is trying to add the custom bow into this crafting station so you can actually come over here and edit it and repair it. See, if Bessie's bow, if I put this in here and try to repair it, you do not have the expertise. If I try to bring in my bow, repair, you do not have the expertise. So, need to be able to figure out how to make it work in this so that it, I can actually edit it in, to where I can repair the damn thing. You got star metal bow, you got um, light herkadurka bow, the hardened steel bow, regular herkadurka bow, uh, ancient bow, then you got the flawless versions up here. So yeah, I'd like to be able to add it to that. And that's the um, the carpenter's bench. And yes, I have a named thrall in there. Arik Strong in the Arm. Lovely name there, dude. Um, so, yeah. I'd like to be able to get my arrows in here. Cause, I mean, I can make star metal arrows, so why not have them show up in this thing? So, the recipes are already there to craft the things, except for the arrows and the bow. I did not create the recipe to create those. Um... And I'm pretty sure, that even though I did create the recipe to craft the um, the beefalo bow, I don't see it in here. And just the same with the bow, I, I, I'm not able to repair it. 
So if I actually come in here and put my Sword of Doom and hit repair, I do not have the expertise to repair that. So, like, I've got another one right here that's pretty much the same. It's the same thing, but it won't let me repair the, the items. So I will figure that out. And if you missed the um, the sword, we, we just shot the bow to make sure that the bow, and the custom bow and the custom arrows work. We already tested the sword, but I'll make a quick run through again really quickly. On this lower difficulty level, these guys respawn really quickly. One hit wonders, man. Yeah, this is just disgusting. The blood, the gore, no. All right, what kind of weapon you guys want me to make? Since this is just a frickin' straight up OP weapons mod, come here, come here. What do you want to see? Two-handed sword, pike, javelin. Yeah, this is just definitely an OP item here. That was the whole point, is just experimenting with how OP we could make something. You can create a level one brand new starting character, give them this weapon, and just clean house. One shot kills. Come here. So, you guys, let me know what you want to see. What kind of weapon you want me to make? Will all die. You will all die. Yeah, shut up. What was I like? Okay. Uh, all right. So, taking a look at the other weapons in the game, if you're wanting to just have, uh, you know, uh, yeah, just a goof off. This is my goof off room. I've got uh, an online server that I play on. It was down today, so that got me in here just kind of screwing around, making dumb stuff. So that what got me started on making the bow and the the sword itself. Yes, this was the first named dancer I'd seen anywhere in game. No, I didn't really want a male dancer in here, but I have my female dancers. But I have not found a named female dancer yet. So let's get out of the game. And actually, instead of getting out of the game, let's go into the admin panel and just kind of browse through some of the different weapons. And if you guys have a, a preference for a weapon style or, or look, if you like a two-handed sword or an axe or a hammer or, or whatever, let me know and we'll make that. I like the poniards, the, the dual daggers. I think those are pretty awesome. But if you guys got any requests on something you'd like to see just as a absolutely freaking OP weapon just to screw around with, then let me know in the comments or on Discord, and I'll throw something together. Let's see here. I've got a two-handed sword. I don't like two-handed swords normally. They've got a good range and standoff ability, but I prefer to have either the 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 poniards poniards or whatever the hell you want to call them the dual daggers or a one-handed sword with a shield typically so that's just my thing that's the way I like to play as I'm leveling up my my character on on live servers uh, I tend to go in with the the dual daggers the poniards first and start with the alt attack, or the right click attack, which sets up, um, I can get at least two to three quick bleeds, I can roll out, switch to a sword and a shield, and then um, be able to go from there. Just work them with the sword, if the bleeds drop off, then I'll go back to my, my daggers and I'll, I'll stack a couple bleeds back on them. And that usually gets the, the job done. Now, um, 
this sword here, the watch blade. This one I actually got from killing a, a one particular boss. And if you guys saw the video that I did of my elephant killing rig, might be something to look into for farming this weapon here. Okay. Um, admin panel. Time of day, noon. Freeze time. Yeah, um, this is a full nudity server. This particular armor set um, actually does have little metal caps over her nips, so it is kind of hiding some of it. But, I mean, I could come over here, like, to um, my dancer, and I think she'll like that top on her. She'll like that armor set. But I could take her top off, let her be topless. I can take her bottom off. But, you know, that's the whole thing, is this this game allows you to, to be totally nude if you want to. Guys, you can also be totally nude, run around with your shalong. When you're creating your character, you can set up the body size. If you're playing female character, and I, 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 I like women, so I'm going to play a female character if I have the option. It's a hell of a lot nicer for me to look at this ass than um, a guy's ass. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with looking at a guy's ass. I have one, but I don't want to look at my own ass. You get the point. My preference. So, um, yeah, that's fine. I actually have a thrall that I'm taming over here. When you're in admin mode, all you have to do is hold down the control key and right click, and it will teleport you on the map. So what I had was... Um, that al the the alligator that drops this particular sword, the uh, the witch blade. It's a big ass sword. Um, I'm not a fan, like I said, of the the two handed swords because it's like slow and kind of cumbersome feeling. I like the faster weapons, like the uh, the poniards. Hell, I just saw another alligator over here somewhere. Nice little rabbit. I'm not worried about you. There we go. That can come in here and stack bleeds. And he died a little bit quicker. But I can stack bleeds and then switch over to my, my sword. Now this is my super sword. And I got my super bow on me right now. But um, what I was saying uh, with this alligator is... Yes, I just threw a random wheel of pain out here on, on platforms. He spawns right over here. Where in the hell? Oh, right over there. Gigantic alligator. And there is a chest right over here on the ground. I'll run over next to him. I don't know. I'm in God mode. I don't really care. But to be able to open this chest, you must have the key. Well, where do you get the key from? Out of his butt. You got to kill him. And once you kill him, I open a chest, and that's where I got this sword. Now, I'll go ahead and outrun him, see if I can lose aggro. But if you've got a particularly tough creature that you can't kill on your own, um, the easiest way I've found to do it is if, well, if you want to be completely lazy and sit there with, um, you know, 2,000 arrows and build a little small platform and stand on top of it, you could do that. You could also use, um, like, the the gaseous orbs and the, the fire orbs and Stuff like that. Throw those out there. Wow, that was a hell of a girly throw. Damn. Um, that's going to do damage over time. Not very much. So if you suck and you have really crap gear, you can just throw a bunch of those guys out. Run around in circles around the outside of it. Stay out of reach of them. Make him go through the um, the gas clouds. And sit there and do that. And then get back on your tower and try to keep him from getting to you. I'm not worried about it. Like I said, I'm in god mode. I can easily just outrun him. Or... Why don't you get off the rock? Get on the rock. Pretty sure he can knock me out from there. He will actually knock you around. 
Yeah, see? I'm in God mode. I can sit here for all day and let him do his thing. This particular sword, if I had pumped the, uh, the damage up a bit more, you see it's doing pretty good damage overall. But I'm just going to run away from him because I don't feel like going through all the hassle. I'm just... i got to figure out why the, the custom bow and the, the arrows, neither one of them are actually doing the bleed effect. <laughs> yeah, I'm not worried about this. But if you kill this guy right here, he will and skin him or use the hatchet on him. He will drop the uh, the key for this chest, and you can get that sword. I I don't know if it gives you that sword every single solitary time. He's still. I mean, I could sit here and just waste five minutes of my my life again in god mode just to, to kill this guy. I never killed him before, so I said to hell with it. You could use javelins, you could use spears, you can use um, potions, bow, whatever, just anything range and just build you a platform and sit on top of it. And he'll probably won't be able to, um, to knock you out of it. Probably. I don't know for sure. My elephant killing rig essentially was... Um, like a two by three um, layout of um, the foundations with <coughs> walls on on two sides and on one side have um, a door I'm sorry it was a three by four excuse me uh, three by four and then with the um, three by four one wall is open or one side is open the other one has a door in the middle and then two walls on it Alright, he's just about dead. And then, um, you can use a. You need to have a bow or something ranged. Because what will happen is you're killing these elephants, even if you got really crap gear, then, um, what will happen is he'll actually. They'll glitch. And they will glitch over the top of the damn walls. Which really sucks. Gaseous orbs are a pain in the ass. So, let's see here. Come over here and. There you go, skeleton key. You can just keep skinning them, get all the feral flesh, or you can get the, you know, you can use a skinning knife on them. Either one, it doesn't matter. And um, but the whole point was get that skeleton key, and then come over. Now you can open the chest, and this time I got War Spear of the Black Circle, and it automatically closes the chest up back off there. So no idea. So that was the, the the legendary weapon I got out of it this time. Um, so I got um, the first time I did it, the Watchblade. The second time, War Spear of the Black Circle. Never really messed with these much. Now, if you guys are not familiar with this area on the map, this is, if you haven't been here, if you play the game and you haven't been here, you need to get your ass here. It's a pain in the ass. Once you get to this point right here, you've got tigers to deal with in this area. And then right over here, you just got some... Those little freaking... Uh, imps. And then you got the usual alligators and crap like that. Now, once you get to this portion of the beach right here, there's going to be shipwrecks. You need to dive the water near the shipwreck because there's going to be chests. If you're if you need gold for anything or silver for anything, you need to bring your ass down here. And I kid you not. I I, I decided I wanted to, I, to find gold. So I did a quick search online where is the best place to farm gold and this was one of the places that came up. And I had a bunch of breathing potions. So, and this is on a live server, so it's not like I'm using admin commands or anything like that, like I am right now. But the first thing I notice is I'm swimming across. I was like, what the hell are these things down here? And I dove down to look at them. It's brimstone. So you got brimstone all around these spires or these stalagmites or whatever the hell they're called. And there's a bunch of them all around so if you want to build an out here 
you got brimstone, and brimstone is going to allow you to, to make steel. But you have to really watch where you're building. It won't let you build in that area over here, which I'll show real quickly. So I built as far away from it as I could to still be functional. So my online server that I've been playing on, my new base, which I freaking love so far, is actually right off the coast right here. I came out and I just built straight off into the water and I built my entire setup right there in the water. You know, if almost flush with the top level of the water. So I came over here and I'm like, okay, cool, the shipwrecks. I'd already found a buttload of gold and silver coins and bars and stuff like that. And there's iron no nodes here, and you got brimstone over there, so hell, making steel is easy. The only thing you don't have is coal around here, but shit, you got plenty of trees. So, as I worked my way around, I'm checking the water, and of course there's going to be guys up here. The, um, the guys on shore are going to be dropping silver and gold coins, but you need to really pay attention to the water, because there's chests in the water. And you'll look around where the ships are in the water, broken up boats and stuff in the water, and you'll start finding um, sunken chest. Those sunken chests will have gold bars, gold coins, silver coins, silver bars. So just spend some time, look around, and yeah, you'll be amazed how much gold you can come with. I mean, seriously. Plus the brimstone, if you decide you want to go ahead and build a base nearby, then with all the brimstone that's out here, there won't be any shortage of being able to, to make steel to repair your weapons and, and your other gear with. Alright, so... Come here. So yeah, I'll, I'll check the loot on some of these guys. I'm not going to worry about picking it up, but... Come here. Oh, right in the ass. Oh, that sucks to be you. Um, yeah, there's all kind of stuff here in the loot. Now, the reason why I built that... Um, I don't like the fact that it automatically releases the arrow for you. Oh, one shot. When I did finally hit his ass, he, he dropped a one shot. Is this right over here. And this is very reminiscent of some stuff from... World of War crap. Oh, missed. Didn't lead it right. Oh, good lead that time. <laughs> Dropped that bitch where she stood. Alright, well, I will skip all this area right over here. There's, I mean, well, hell, it doesn't matter. Start running now. Oh, look, an archer. I got a bow, too. You know she got a peg leg. And now she got missing legs. But yeah, these um these over here, there's plenty of um, NPCs to kill, plenty of stuff to loot. Oop, you're dead. Um chest. I mean there's just stuff everywhere. Oh shit, there was a slaver. <laughs> A named slaver. Stand up a bitch. Where the hell are you whenever I'm actually on a real server? You pain in the ass. A named frickin' slaver. I've been looking for weeks and weeks and weeks to find one, and the son of a bitch spawns right now whenever I'm just screwing around and I just slice his ass in half. So, yeah, you can spend as much time... Um, there might be some recipes up here, like this peg leg. You can get that with the admin commands, and um, say, um, hit escape, go to admin panel, and search for black hand, and you can get, um, uh, let's see, the boots, the hoop earrings, the war paint, there's also um, Peg leg. You can get it for your left side or your right side. So if you get um, right, go in and take a look. And if we 
Equip it. Now we have a peg leg. There's also an eye patch, also. <laughs> I, I'm a pirate fan. I always like pirates. Not like any sporting team. I just like the whole thing. You know, the the pirate hats and the the swashbuckling and stuff like that. All right, Chewbacca. <laughs> See ya. This is. I did. I picked the wrong camp. It's like picking the wrong nose. All right. So this one usually. Hey, Taskmaster. Nice. Yeah, I've only found one other slaver at all. I find Taskmasters all the time, but that's actually the the first. Well, the first named Taskmaster I've, or, or slaver I've seen yet. But yeah, this sword is way friggin' OP. Shut up. Just cut your ass in half. Probably find a named female dancer while I'm just slashing stuff in half and not really paying attention. I'm just kind of screwing around, showing you guys where this stuff is. But, shut up, die. And you need to die also. And let's get a bow shot. Dead meat. I don't know why I fired a second arrow. And you got someone standing up there. Oh, I missed. I hit the uh, the ledge. Why did it double fire? I didn't didn't fire twice. But yeah, you, you can get a lot of um, gold coins, silver coins, stuff like that from from loot here. You can actually walk up and around, but I just want to be goofy right here. Come up here and up here. There's the captain. But, what the hell? Give me my damn bow back. I don't know why it's firing a second round. So you got the captain here, which is, um... Hecker Wave Runner? I thought his name was different. Here. Stop, stop moving. But he also will drop the Shattered Scored Stone pieces, a piece. So one of the items you're going to need for later in the end game. And then, um, I also got a chest hidden over here. And I didn't find any silver, any gold, um, from the guys that I just killed. So, yeah, makes me look like a liar. But I have, I found, like, 80 silver coins and a little over 50 gold coins overall. From one run. I mean, if you look at all the freaking stuff here, I thought this might have been gold here. Like, damn, it's a big blocks of gold. But that's all brimstone. And that's all over the damn place out here as well. But a lot of the chests that I found were actually, and I see one right over here. I see another one. Okay, so I don't feel so bad. I see a chest now. And yes, I'm in God mode, so I don't have to worry about anything. I can just showcase things. Alright, so chest here, open it up, there's seven gold and one silver. And hell, there's another chest here, there's ten silver. And why do you need the gold coins and silver coins? Well, later down the line, you're going to need, um, and there's a silver bar. You're going to need the, um, the gold and the silver for using for different recipes. And one of them is the, uh, the map room. Yes, you can... By killing a bunch of the mobs, you'll get a drop of um, breathing potions. Just stock up on them, and you'll be able to sit here and, and dive down and just, you know, you don't have to worry about your breath as much. It also depends on, on how you decide you're going to spec. Um, so I'll go back up the surface again and get on dry land here. But if you don't know, and I didn't know, I... I've only been playing this game for a short amount of time, even though I've had it for over a year, or about a year. There was, um... Just about every game that I can think of, you know, that's similar to this, there's a potion that you can drink that's like a mind-wipe tonic or something like that. Well, I'm like, well, what the hell? Why don't we have anything like that in this game? 
and I was informed that there is. So, I'm like, well, hell, it must be some high-end weird concoction. No, once you learn the recipe to use the fireball and be able to place a fireball down, which is not very high level, I mean, it's on your feet list. Um, primitive cook. Braziers, braziers, or whatever the hell you call those things. Um, but yeah, once you get to the, um, that's the potion maker, that's the advanced one. Yeah, Fireball Cauldron. You have to be level 15 to make it. And it allows you to make the Fireball Cauldron, but it lets you make the Yellow Lotus Potion, which is like 10 freaking um, Yellow Lotus Flowers. And I didn't know it, but that freaking elixir is what you use, and it wipes all of your attributes and all of your feats, all of the stuff you've already learned. But it refunds all your points back so you can respend them. So right now I'm expecting 100% on strength. But what if I want to go and farm stuff and harvest and, and whatnot? Well, I want to stack up my encumbrance so I can carry more junk. And then, you know, like stamina. I want to increase my stamina. I, instead of going encumbrance, I could have gone grit instead. Or if I'm using a bow quite a bit, I can do accuracy or agility for recovering my stamina. So if I'm going to do straight up fighting, I'm going to do strength and maybe agility. But just enough encumbrance to allow me to carry my friggin' armor. Because if I decide I want to use heavy armor, then shit's heavy. And once you put on your armor and you, you grab your weapon and, or your sword and your shield, maybe one or two other things and a stack or two of food and maybe bandages, whatever else, hell, you're out of weight. So that's actually right across here. Puts you if you're gonna stay in this area. This is um, the Forgotten City of Zelha or whatever, and you've got the Palace of the Witch King. You can go in there and kick her butt, and that's where you get um, the ability to make the her clothing essentially. But that was the thing: is you come around that cove and you work this beach line and just go go down the beach check each of the shipwrecks look inside the ships look on the bank nearby and go out in the water hit C key not now but hit C key to be able to dive and look around close to it and you're gonna find a lot of chest on this this beach line here make things a little bit easier go to my admin panel go to this Hit 5, apply, and that'll allow me to run a little faster. And jump a little bit farther. So you just come over here, and like I said, not every one of them has something. But check nearby. This one doesn't, and the last one doesn't. Um, but the closer you get down here to the, um, the starting point of them, Wreck of the Black Tail. There's usually a gator sitting right in here, and there's some eggs you can harvest there, if you can cook them. <coughs> the, um... Yeah, there's nothing on this one. But definitely check the water nearby, because you never know. I mean, I found quite a few that are actually in the water. When I first came to the zone, I was actually... I made my base right out here in the middle of the river, and was would swim out to it and I kept the critters like these guys from coming at me and I did pretty good overall on my first run just on this beach but whenever I found that Buccaneer Bay over there it's like you know Shangri-La man holy shit it was like the thing I know I'm moving kind of fast here but check around each one of these ships I um, can't remember if there was one here or if it was up on the bank. Um, yeah, you can't catch me. But check all around. I know that there's one right here. Look, that's five gold coins and two gold bars. Hi, how are you? 
don't interrupt me when I'm talking. And there should be one right here. Yep. And there's 19 gold coins. I made out like a freaking bandit right here. And normal server, it takes about 15 minutes or so. Maybe a little bit longer, depends on the server. And all the shit will respawn. 15 minutes, 30 minutes, like I said, it depends on the server. But you can sit here and work this back and forth. And shh, I mean, you can get rich soon. So, that's my two cents worth for, for finding a lot of silver and a lot of gold. Is by working this beach back and forth. Checking all the different shipwrecks that are around here. And this one I already checked. Yeah. So, check these. Work your way all the way around to the other end where we, we came from. Work Buccaneer Bay, kill everything in there, loot everything in there, and yeah, you'll make out pretty damn well. Yay! Swimming takes forever. Now, what would you rather look at while playing a video game? That? Or some big weird dude's butt? Unless you're into weird dudes and that's your thing, go right ahead. But, you know, I like girls. So. But that puts you right over here, close to... This ain't it. Um, the crevice, also, which is right over here. Go away, you fat lizard. The crevice is um, another little pirate hangout. Usually an archer right here. I'm moving a little bit too fast for everything to update. There we go. Shut up. Um... So you come in through here. Oh, look, it's a bear. Put some clothes on. You see me talking to you? Yeah, look, an archer. You're dead. Um. <laughs> yeah, I think I might have made this bow a little bit too OP. Yeah, you can work your way around and hey, Start running now, spikes. And Put some clothes on, woman. What is your problem? There might be children watching. You can come up here and play with all the pussy you want. I mean, pussy cats. See, Panthers. What do you think I was talking about? That is so rude. Go away. But yeah, that's that's this place, and then um, yay, God mode is awesome. That wouldn't have ended well if I didn't have that on. Um, so yeah, this whole area back here is um, you get in the wrong spot if you if you make your way this way at a really low level you can pretty much hang it up you're gonna get your butt kicked get to the moon but this is the area you'll end up going to hey it's a gorilla hey go away you got the gorillas and you got these weird looking guys with lots of pubic hair all right, go away. Um, hmm, loot chest. Nice, go away. So, cool place back here, um, but I would not show up unless you are really ready. Um, level 50, maybe, and pretty well geared. Otherwise, you're just going to have a bad time docks here. I'm actually going to go ahead and head back. So, yeah, that's, um, that's that. Did you guys have any suggestions on what weapon to do? What would be a cool weapon to, to make OP just for screwing around with, or, or what have you? So I plan on doing some work with the, um, the crossbow, see if I can make that work. 
And um, I think that would be cool because the stuff is there. The crossbow is in the game. Um, so is the horse and so is the camel. And they decided they were going to give up on those. So, now that I'm back home, let's go ahead and actually quit game. And we'll take a look in the editor one more time. And like I said, if you guys got suggestions, I want to hear them. Let me know in my Discord channel or in the comments for the video. Um, I check Discord all the time. I have um, Discord running on my right monitor at all times. So, you know, if anybody's wanting to talk, it's always on my right monitor. Um, and I usually keep everything else like this and Steam and what have you for um, for that. So an epic epic game launcher. I'm gonna go ahead and see, see, see. Um, I didn't tell you to minimize. Thank you. Go ahead and go back into the editor, and we'll take a look. There is, like I said, um, I saw the crossbow. I saw a horse. I saw a camel. I saw a bunch of stuff actually. Um, they left some stuff in the dev kit that's um, animation blueprints that are set up already for retargeting on quadrupeds. It says quadrupeds right there on it. So four-legged creatures. In case you're not familiar with what the hell a quadruped is, um, humans are bipedal or bipeds or two legs. So let's get this loaded up, and we'll take a peek at those really quickly. Like I said, if you guys want to see anything in particular weapons-wise, let me know, and I'll I'll throw it in this mod. If you want this mod visible on Steam, let me know, and I'll throw it on there. These two weapons are absolutely freaking OP, and the only way you can get them currently is to use the admin commands. So it's not like you can go on somebody else's private server or hosted online server or whatever and use these. The only way that'll work is if they have this mod installed and you have to be an admin to get these weapons. So currently they're not set up for just anybody to use unless you have admin privileges. So, alright. So the bow works. The, the sword works. The arrows work. Everything works the way that they should. So let's open up the mod folder. And all we have is in the mod folder, the name of the mod, you've got the mod controller and the RPC. There's nothing in the RPC. You create the file and currently there's nothing in it. The mod controller for this type mod, the first time you, you open up a blueprint, it's going to take ages. But then when you close it and open it back up again, it'll open right back up instantly, like it should now. Um, I don't know why, but you're, you're seeing this real time is how long this freaking takes for the blueprint to come up. And this is a blueprint that I made. I know what the hell's in it. I know what it makes reference to, and it should not take more than a second for it to pop up. Much less how long you're going to see that it takes for this little blueprint with really nothing in it to actually come up. And the, and the editor's worthless right now. I can't do a thing. It's actually just... It won't let me do anything else until it finishes doing what it's got to do to the load that blueprint. And then once the blueprint's loaded, so that I can show you there's just nothing else in there, and then I can close it because I don't need to have it open right now. So you can sit here and drum your, your fingers on the desk. The only thing that's really going to be in the BP mod controller or your mod controller blueprint essentially is um, it's just telling it to merge your items um, data table with the, the game's data table. It's just telling it to, hey, I want to add my stuff to your stuff. And that's all it's doing. It's merging is telling it to merge the two tables together. And my table has three entries in it for the items, 
and one entry, I think, for the recipe. The reason why you need the recipe in there also, uh, you don't have to have it, but if you want to be able to craft it, you have to have a recipe for it. Yeah, this takes forever the first time you load it. It is absolutely annoying. When you're trying to do something in a hurry, you can't get in a hurry. Thankfully, once you've done this and you've told it to merge your items and your recipes with the existing items and recipes, you don't really need to come back into this blueprint again if all you're doing is adding things to those and that's it. So this is totally unnecessary wait time right now for me to just to show you how long it takes for this damn thing to open it up. And I, my computer is not a potato. At least I don't think so. Um, eight core processor, 16 gigs of RAM, um, 1066 gig video card, uh, GTX, overclocked. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a decent machine. I'm running three 32 inch monitors. The stand I got to hold these is a single stand to hold three monitors. And it was the only one that I could find that would go up to 32 inch. And I went up to 32 inch. And these monitors are 32 inch. I'm like, holy crap. I mean, that's just cutting it close. But they actually do a pretty good job. Um, I still haven't adjusted the, the right monitor all the way. The left one and the center one still fine. I just have never lowered the right monitor down to match. I just didn't care. Um, well, it took me forever to actually adjust the um, the left one to be right on with the, the middle one. I don't use all three for gaming anymore. Oh, are you about done now? But I did play a little bit. And tell you what, if you haven't played in 5760 by 1080, wow. Yeah, I, I all that wait time just for this. There's nothing in the event graph, and it's just in like a construction tab right here, in a function tab essentially. The mod data table operation links to a merge data table for the items, merge data table for the recipes, and that's it. That's all you have to put into your mod controller if you're just doing like I'm doing and modifying recipes and weapons. That's it. Um, there's nothing in this one. I'm not going to wait five minutes for that one to open up. And then tables. Um, you saw the items table here. My three items that I created. And the recipe, which is pretty much the same basic thing. I created a recipe for the sword, which I'm going to change the name of the sword. And I'm just going to call this the Beefalo Sword. And it was created during the live stream, not demo stream. And there we go. So in the recipe portion of it itself, it's just saying, what are the ingredients to craft it? In this case, it's five stone. Um, destroy station on complete, no building mode, none. But it's like we were trying to figure out before is what can we do to make it craftable and repairable? You have to have a, an actual recipe that you can learn. Where is the recipe there? The recipe type is a weapon. Um, time to craft is five seconds. It's a tier one item. Crafting stations. Would imagine that would be how many slots that are in it. And this is not a crafting table, so that that's not going to apply here. Um, recipe item flags, no flags set. I, I still, for the life of me, haven't figured out why. See, Thrall Recipe Feat Requirement? Is Thrall Machine Recipe? Is Recipe Enabled? Yes. Um, you can get credit for crafting it 
in the um, the journey trigger, which is fine, but uh, what we need to do is actually take a look at the actual recipes. Now, to find the recipes, which I'm going to go ahead and go into the items list here, and we change this to Beefalo Sword, and we'll go ahead and save that. So we got beefalo sword, beefalo bow, beefalo um, arrows. And I'm going to go ahead and save this, which is my recipe folder. To define the normal recipes, you're going to have to go into the items folder. And inside the items folder is a recipes folder. And inside that is nothing but the recipes table. So you open that up. And this is all the other regular recipes. So... Um, what would be a normal frickin' recipe that is normally made when you first start? Uh, stone pick. There we go. Stone pick is actually craftable right off the get-go. You can craft it when you first create a character. So, where is it, say it can be crafted. Craft XP, zero. Craft Station, zero. Fuel, zero. It's a tier one. Time to craft is 10 seconds. Building mode, none. Recipe, five stones. And I think, what was it? Five branches. 51001 is branch. I'm sorry, 51001 is the actual item. So the result ID when you're crafting it is that. So we have to make sure that when you're you're looking at it, in your result one ID, you need to make sure you put the item that you're actually trying to craft. That's what goes there. So what you're saying is your materials you're going to craft it with, up to four different materials you can craft it, or, or ingredients need to be there for you to craft it. And what happens when you craft it? You're creating this item number. And you're creating one of them, and you're only creating one. So if you're creating the beefalo bow, we can, we'll say, whenever you create that, you could tell it to go ahead and give you 100 freaking arrows at the damn same time. Talk about cheating, right? So is recipe enabled? Yes. Is throw machine recipe? No. Throw a recipe feet requirement zero. Yeah. All this shit is the same. Exactly the same as what I've got. Oh yeah, that's that's that. So yeah, I mean it's exactly the same. Well, not exactly the same, but all the, the same things that are, are supposed to be there is there. So no flag set on that. Um, no flag set on that. Everything, to me, shows that it should be there, but where does it say, or where's the list of things that actually... Let's make sure we save mine one more time. The list of recipes inside of a station. The craftable item. Crafting. Crafting station name table. Well, this is just for the tables. So, like a furnace, a kiln, firebowl, cauldron. Um, what the actual things you are that are able to craft. A fish trap isn't really a crafting one, but it does in a way. It's automatically creating fish over time. But the air dryer, the stove... Um, planters, all this crap. This is just regular crafting tables. But what actually have to come through is a feet table. If you want to go into the feet table, um, that's your skills that you're trying to learn. Um, the level requirement. So if you want to change, um, oh, I don't know, the black hand tent. It's like a that's not even available in game, but if you want like the epic veneer fur, um, veneer fur epic, 
whatever, or you want to change the stats on that. Let's actually get something that I know that's actually in the game. Oh, shit. Um, Archer for, like, creating bows and stuff. Level 5 requirement. It costs 2 points. Well, you look at some of these higher ones, like um, Heft haft Maker or Rope Maker or Shaft Maker requires 13 freaking points for each one, and you got to be level 60. Well, you can come in here and just um, create your own new tab or your data table and tell it to... Um, only cost one point and only require a level one and you can make all this stuff at level level one and not worry about it that's where you would do that is a feet table but not what we're trying to do food gathering resources snake eggs termites grubs lovely Placeables, not what we're looking for. NPC weapons. There's so many things you can actually change. Um, but the recipe table, this isn't giving me what I want. I like gold coin, gold dust, silver dust. Um, that's just the recipes themselves. I want to know where the starting abilities are. That's the thing. All you have to do is try to figure out what you want to do, but also just go through and look at stuff like that, the the data tables. And that's where you're going to do a lot of your, your minor mod making stuff. If you want to add full custom weapons and junk like that, then yeah, you're going to have to do a lot more than just what we're doing. But it's like um, dagger and dagger offhand. The weapons themselves, you can look at the different daggers. Say if I want to use these. Um, glowing stick. Um, orbs. Yeah, really cool. But really and truly, the majority of what we're doing is if you look at this folder, it's pretty much just going to show you what the items look like. Like a club made of human arm, or knockout clubs, or maces. But this is where we have the crossbow, and this is what I wanted to look at really quickly. Is um, We've got static mesh right here. And we have a skeletal mesh. Let's actually look at the skeletal mesh. And we're going to go ahead and... You now this is going to take a few moments here for it to load up, but we're going to do this really quickly. You know, as quickly as it will let us load the freaking skeletal mesh. Come on. And then we'll get ready to, to end this stream. It's been two hours. It's got to load the shaders. But as you can see, we have a crossbow. It's definitely old school style, but, you know, that's the, the name of the game is that styling so there is a uh, there's a crossbow let it finish loading its shader in yeah. so you got like the the brass and the silver and you know the limbs and everything it's it's that I mean it's a crossbow you've got uh, blueprints for the the crossbow and for the arrows you got a bunch of different arrows where the hell is it in game I haven't seen it One thing I will look at really quickly is, and even in the admin um, for for giving yourself weapons, I didn't see it in there. So if I look at the uh, the items table, the original items table, and try to pull up a crossbow there, okay, exceptionally exceptional heavy crossbow, flawless heavy crossbow, bone bolts crossbow. Um, hell, why isn't 51451 available in game? I haven't seen it. Mechanical bow with a slow rate of fire. I'm happy with the bow, but still, it'd be nice to have that in game. 
something to look at. You know, some people might want it. So let's actually look at one other thing and then we'll call it quits. And that would be, and I'm pretty sure it's not in items. Sample contents, no, where the hell is it? Um, characters, I don't think it's in there. It might be. No. Um, the horse and camel. They are in here. No. Unless there's something changed in the last day, day or so. Um, I did see that there was a horse and I did see there was a camel. Well, you know what? All else fails. Characters, chameleon, environmental. All else fails, use the damn search block. So, search folders, you can actually click on content there and then the center one and type in horse and it will search and find anything with horse there we go a horse attack kick attack kick backwards forward small death animation for the horse horse idle to sleep horse idle um, eating Frisky, look left, raise feet, uneasy, jog. Yeah, all the, the animations are here for the horse. The basic animations, at least for the horse. Um, you got sounds, you know, wave files for the, the horse. You've got a blend space. You've got an animation blueprint. Everything looks like it's here. I mean, blueprints for the horses. They are here. I'll actually load one up here in just a second. Um, Horse new static that's a static mesh. The difference between a static mesh and a skeletal mesh is well obvious. Um, a skeletal mesh has a skeleton and a static mesh does not. So this is a skeletal mesh here. Let's open up the Pinto. Also the name of really fine automobile. Right, 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 right. So there's a horse. Horses are be in the game. So why the hell can't we ride them? I did not change the fucking skeleton, you idiot ass Unreal Engine 4. I opened up the skeletal mesh and I closed it. And it's wanting me to save changes on the freaking thing. So let's actually look at an animation really quickly. Um, so you can see there's even animations for them. There's animation blueprints. There's actual blueprints. I'm not going to spend 10 minutes loading up a damn blueprint. Child acted from there. Um, let's see, Ventograph. Oh, uh, shit. Where's the rest of it? Huh. I don't see the Animograph. It's a little bit different than actual working with the normal, but, but yeah, the animations are here for the horse for walking. The sounds are here. The animation blueprints, the blend space, the models, the textures, all the shit's there. What about camel? Well, there's a camel with a saddle. It's a blueprint. I'm not going to open a blueprint right now. Animation blueprint. Animations. We have, oh, animation montages. Yeah, all the shit's here. Sound files, textures, models, skeletons, the saddle. Um, yeah, all the shit's here. There's even a trophy head you can have of a camel. So if you kill a camel, you can mount his freaking head on the wall. Uh, let's see here. Camel attacks. Idle movement. Walk. Well, I'm just going to open up this one. Just so we can see that it's here. We have a camel. 
it has some issues. The the material on the freaking bridle is not solidly attached in the screen. So as it's moving around, it's yeah, it's a weird effect. The material looks a little better, but it's still doing the same shit. If you look at the rope, yeah, it's kind of hard to see that one, but yeah, that's the thing is the shit's in here. Um, I want the freaking camel in game. I want it working so we can actually use it for a pack mule, you carry extra junk while we're out, or be able to get on the damn thing and ride. All right, so. I think we're good for right now. The mod was not really changed in here. Oh, of course, there's no camel in my freaking mod. Um, it works. The bow works. The arrows work. The sword works. Everything's good to go. So, like I said, if you guys want to see anything in particular, weapons-wise, let me know in Discord, and I will throw something together. Uh, there's just so many freaking weapons that I can go for and modify and work with. I just picked the um, the two that I use the most. A one-handed sword and uh, a bow and arrow. Right now they're OP as hell. But you know what? Just purely for fun. Alright guys. I'm out here. We'll see you on the next video.